Hey, it's Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California with my Urban Fit Yoga Wheel and Figure 8 Infinity Strap and da -da -da -da, <laughs> Melissa and Ross. Yay! I'm going to do my best to stay on screen while these guys show off their amazing back rubs. Ross and Melissa happen to be married, but he's the one that is filet of person, spineless, but in the good way. And Melissa has an amazing back bend, but she's going to utilize this um, to make it a little bit deeper. We're going to start today with Shalom Basana, a pose that I can't even pretend to do. So we're going to have him do it, and we'll pretend that it's me. So um, lie down on your stomach. And now I'm also going to pretend to teach him how to do this. Um, the hands go facing down, palms down, and scoot underneath your body. You want to pull your, <clears throat> your shoulders as far underneath your body as possible, and your hands are going to actually press actively into the floor. Chin is long, and this is one of the challenges, particularly if you have a bad neck like, say, me, um, when it makes it a little bit more challenging, gets you a little stuck sometimes on the lift off. So as he presses down strongly into his hands, and he could explain this better than I can, oh, well, there goes my instruction. <laughs> you lift up your hips, <laughs> and you can see how his arms are fully activated, super straight and strong, as he touches his head with his toes. This is Ross, like, without any warming up. Are you wondering why he's demonstrating instead of me? Beautiful. You'll see how nicely and in control he can lower down because the arms never give up. Okay, Melissa, you're on. <laughs> okay, so Melissa, let's try this first without the strap just to demonstrate. This is a little bit of a challenging pose. Yeah, I mean, without the wheel. Yeah, yeah. otherwise known as a strap. So I will just hold this here. Urban fit. Um, yeah, I can't get very far. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely lift my legs off the floor on this one. Wait, wait, hold on, stop. Okay. okay, get your arms underneath you first. So pull your, um, sort of your arms together like you're mm -hmm. trying to create like a push-up bra or cleavage or whatever. Okay, <laughs> pressing strongly. If you put your feet on the floor, those aren't feet, those are knees. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then walk in like a like you're a caterpillar. Like actually walk your feet in and lift your hips up to start. So just walk or waddle in. So lift your hips and yeah, as far as you can. You could even bend your knee coming into this one or knees right. if you have two knees. And then um, some people can just lift off and, and some people with a little bit of help can just lift off. Um, and that's really all she needed, however, if in theory I were to, she could hold this now that she's in, but I'm gonna let her go. And just for the audience at home, can you go ahead and just do your best lift off here? <laughs> <laughs> so try not to bend your knees, okay. let's stay straight. Um, take your toes off the floor, so just point your feet because lifting off at this point doesn't <clears throat> help. And just start to lift your feet off the floor, legs are straight, and okay, <laughs> this isn't a dramatization, folks. This is a challenging pose. <laughs> Okay, Melissa, thank you for that. Let's, let's get you on the wheel. Um, so for this one, you take the wheel underneath your midsection and start a little bit back because you need to roll forward into this. Make sure it rolls straight forward because if it rolls sort of sideways, like you could fall sideways, like right off of it. So as you come down, the thing is that you really need to extend the chin and get long under. So you might have to go a little further forward than you think. The arms press down and now watch how beautifully she can lift up. Oh my goodness. A pose that rivals Ross and come on, come on. <laughs> Prove that women are better than men. Oh my God, look how close. Seriously, is that an amazing improvement? Just because we added in a wheel, it's phenomenal. But she's phenomenal anyway. She's not just pretending to be phenomenal, she's actually phenomenal. Okay, so also the wheel is gonna give her support so she could come out nice and easily. And uh, how does it feel? Is it, well, you, we can wait till she gets out. It's hard to talk when you're like on your chin. Uh, coming out from this point can sometimes, there we go, good. How do you feel? Um, it's good once you get into it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's good. I mean, obviously, I can't, I can't get up there, so, yeah. Okay, speak to the folks at home. 
<laughs> okay, great. Okay, second pose we're gonna do is um, our Ekka Pada Raja Kapitasana, our King Pigeon Pose. Um, and why don't we turn you this way so you guys can face each other on this one. Um, to do King Pigeon, um, take one leg in front. Um, again, I'm gonna pretend to teach him how to do this. His other leg goes in back, hold please. Um, making sure that you're right on top of that back knee. The tendency is to sort of collapse to the side on this one. Hips are more or less even to the floor. When you reach back, remember it's like you're holding like a tray of hors d'oeuvre. So he bends his back knee, takes his hand upside down from the pinky toe edge. Oh, he can't do it. He can't do it that way. I can do something he can't do. Okay, well, he's just going to grab it however he wants to because this is Ross and he gets to do whatever he wants. He's the rule maker around here. Um, once you're in, you um, just cradle your head in the sole of your foot like so. Um, notice how beautifully he pulls his elbows together too because he's ashamed that he just did it the wrong way. He doesn't want you to see his face. Now, you didn't do it the wrong way. You can enter however you want to. Um, but you can hold that if you want to for a breath or two more. Okay, never mind. You know what? Let's take you out and then we'll put her in and then we'll take you back in. Okay, so for Melissa, Melissa actually already has a big back bend, um, but she just needs a little help on this one. So we're gonna employ both the wheel and the strap on this one. Now she starts by taking her leg through the wheel. What this is gonna do is first of all, get her leg in the right position, right distance from her hips, but it's also gonna help to um, keep the wheel in place so it doesn't like roll out underneath her, which it doesn't generally do anyway because it's got this nice like wheel like traction it's like the porsche of uh yoga wheels but the leg is just going to help um so as she bends her back knee we take the infinity strap the figure eight as it will and strap it on her foot i'm going to do it for her today though normally she could do it same thing like she's serving on her palm goes upside down do your other hand uh-huh so reach back like this down uh-huh puts her hand inside the strap, and then, hold on, hold on, elbow comes really close to your body, this way, <laughs> and forward to bring it up into your pose. We're gonna show it on the other side in a second because um, we opted for the wrong side here. Um, but as she reaches back and finds her second hand, um, the wheel presses her chest so that she can lift up into it, and she pulls upon her foot to bring it closer to her head. Okay, beautiful. Um, when you let go, you want to let go the same way you came in. So let go this hand first. Mm -hmm. This elbow comes in close and down. And then let's switch sides and let's switch sides and let's do it like lovebirds, pigeons facing each other. Okay? So, um, in unison, um, he's going to do it the weird grabby way. She's going to do it the way with a strap. And um, this time she'll uh, hook her own foot. <sighs> there we go. Puts it in. The hardest part is just finding the foot. Whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. Mm -hmm. Elbow needs to stay close to your body, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because, okay. you know, they come to my class every week, so there's no reason why they would actually know this information. <laughs> um, leg goes, uh, or arm goes in, up, and over. Keeping it close to the body helps to keep the shoulders safe. Arm goes up. Go ahead and grab the two hands. And lifting your chest. Maybe leaning your head backwards. And voila. By the way, I do have a video that explains this one. It's my hip opener video if you want some help, a um, little more help getting into this. So, foot to head. <laughs> I love having control over pigeons. Okay, so go ahead and gently release. Again, keep this elbow tight to your body, pulling it in as you come down. Arm releases. Okay. For our final pose today, this is just a quick little showcase for our Urban Fit Wheel. We're going to do shoulder stand, okay? Um, this is, um, <laughs> we're going to switch roles here. Um, we're going to take sort of two different shoulder stands. Ross is going to do a supported shoulder stand. This is one that um, basically starts as a bridge pose and um, lifts up your hips. And what this does is it maintain some opening in your upper back as you get the benefit of the inversion. Um, 
So here, we'll start with him and then Melissa is going to show us her pose of poses because she's pretty incredible at um, the Niralama Shavagasana, which is the no limb version of this. So you can just lie down flat for right now and just go to sleep or whatever, okay. like straight so we can see what's going on here. Okay, Ross, um, let's start, um, yeah, like you're going to do a bridge pose. You probably have to come onto your tippy toes to get it under there. You want to make sure it supports your sacrum. Okay, now he's got a huge back bend, so this is not a problem for him at all. You can take your hands to the outside or even your thumbs inside, depending on how long your arms are. But for this one, because we're doing sort of a supported shoulder stand, instead of, um, your head might be cut off, let's see. No, it's not. You still have a head. Okay, that's good news. Okay, so instead of like thinking Shavagasana, your full shoulder stand, keep your hips on the wheel, take your knees to your chest, and then straight up into the air. Okay, so this way he gets some of the benefit of the back bend plus the benefit of the inversion. Now, with no back bend whatsoever, we just gotta show this because <laughs> nobody does this like this girl does it. Okay, Melissa, let's see your. Um, so, Shalom, Shalom Shavangasana, in my pronunciation, sucks, would be the supported version. We'll start then there, and then she's gonna do the Nero Longa version, which is the no hands. I'm talking so fast. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're not from America. You probably just missed everything I said. Okay, so let's start in just a normal shoulder stand. So legs go up. Well, usually he lost my first, but that's okay. She's, she's too good for that. Okay, so elbows come in really, really tightly. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to get high upon the shoulders. Remember that if you can in shoulder stand, Try to get your entire spine off the floor. That includes your cervical spine, AKA your neck. Can you get everything up so you're literally on your shoulders? And we're looking for a vertical line of energy. Feet, hips, shoulders, literally nobody does it like this girl. Once you're there, if you want to, and you feel stable in your neck, you can take your hands up to the air. Only do this if you know that, you're, that you could do it without breaking your neck. The good thing is that uh, most people, when they're trying this, if it doesn't quite work out, they just roll out like a ball, which is quite safe. But look at this line of energy. And this girl can hold a shoulder stand. Like, well, she was like a world champion diver like Olympic caliber. <laughs> no, she's phenomenal. So we're just going to leave them here for a second just because she's just so amazing to watch and I wish I could get as vertical as she and how are you doing over here? I'm good. Good. This is very relaxing. Yeah, it is. It's very relaxing. Relaxed? <laughs> okay. And that's it. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and take you into your... Um, into Halasana and then take your knees to the floor for um, Karnapidasana for a few breaths. You just go ahead and take your feet to the floor and rest here for a few breaths. When you come down um, into your bridge, you may or may not be able to put your feet flat. Again, he's got an obscenely open spine, so you might just be on your tippy toes. Oh no, but you could go on your feet because you've got an obscenely open spine. Okay. And um, coming out of shoulder stand, it's always nice to take a um, Karnapidasana if you get those knees to the floor. Go ahead and roll out, Melissa, one vertebrae at a time. Let's lift you up, take the rolly bit out. Yeah, you just roll it away. <laughs> okay. And uh, hug your knees into your chest. <laughs> and come on up to sitting. Awesome. And then hug each other because they're married and they're so cute. Aww. Wait, wait, no, do it again. Wait, hold on. What Urban fit. <laughs> I love these guys. This is Shauna Meyerson with Ross and Melissa um, in Los Angeles, California. Um, use the code that's in my thing and you get 20% off your Urban Fit yoga wheel, which also happens to come with this fabulous strap. Have an awesome day, have an awesome holiday, have an awesome whatever kind of day you're having, just make it awesome. Bye.